This is a patient who has a renal mass that we were asked to characterize, so an MRI was obtained. We have their T2-weighted images without fat set. You can see the mass in the right kidney, this sort of almost bilobed lesion extending a, a little bit into the renal sinus over here. You look at the T2 signal, it's a relatively T2 hypo-intense, and so that's sort of a slightly unusual imaging feature of uh, primary renal cell neoplasms. When we give contrast, we can see that there's definitely enhancement associated with this. It's not the brisk enhancement we typically see with the renal cell neoplasms, but I would sort of characterize this as low-level enhancement. And so this imaging feature of a uh, T2 hypo-intense uh, renal mass with low-level enhancement is a classic finding of papillary cell renal neoplasms. And so the most common renal cell neoplasm is clear cell. Those tend to have more hyper-intense T2 signal, tend to have more brisk enhancement. These ones have sort of the opposite signal. The only other thing to consider potentially in a differential is something like this would be a lipid-poor angiomyolipoma. Um, those tend to have more brisk enhancement, and the T2 signal is more similar to some of the muscles you can see here. So if that T2 signals that the, looks like the paraspinal muscle with brisk enhancement, I would think of a lipid poor angiomyolipoma. But this uh, was taken out and this turned out to be a papillary renal cell neoplasm.